All right, Chris, thanks. John Curtis and Rommel both unbeaten and faced each other tonight. So one of them is unbeaten no more. <laughs> Ricardo mm -hmm. LeCompte joins us. This is a battle for the Catholic League title. It's a huge game. It's a huge game, and it was an instant classic. They're two of the very best, not only in the Catholic League, but in the entire state in Class 5A this year. The number one ranked Patriots averaging 52 points a game against the third ranked Raiders, who've allowed just one touchdown on defense all season. Andrew Doak joins us live from Joe Yenny Stadium in Metairie with more on a thrilling game. Andrew. An unbelievably <laughs> thrilling game, Ricardo. Some called this not only the game of the weekend in the state of Louisiana since the Saints and LSU were off this weekend. This might have just been the game of the year. Let's go to the highlights and show you how this one went down. Rubble and Curtis meeting tonight at Joe Yenny Stadium, the first game between two undefeated Catholic League teams this deep into the season since 2012. And opening play of the game, Curtis QB Colin Guggenheim breaks off this 68-yard run and has Rubble on their heels. Rubble's only allowed one touchdown all season, and it only takes Curtis four plays to make them allow their second. Corey Wren in from seven yards out for the score, 7-0 Curtis. <laughs> Two drives later, Rummel has what can't happen. Logan Diggs coughs it up deep in their own territory, recovered by number 54 linebacker Kylan White for Curtis, and Curtis takes over at Rummel's 15. Then three plays later, on third and 16 from the 21, Guggenheim, look at this dime, to number four, Javon Stoudemire Davis, and Curtis leads 14-0 at the break. But Rummel's first drive of the second half, they cash in, set up in good field position. Third and goal from the 10, Kyle Wickersham to number 11, Ivory Wilwright, toe taps, and Curtis' lead is cut to seven. But this was critical after a Curtis fumble on a muffed punt. Rummel takes over at the 25. Logan Diggs makes good on his earlier fumble, 25 yards to pay dirt. We have a new game, baby, tied all at 14. They go to overtime. Rummel with the first crack, third and goal from the 10. Wickersham finding Diggs late on a wheel route. He slips in. 20 14 Raiders with their first lead. Then Curtis would go score the touchdown of their own. They would go for two and the win, but Guggenheim stuffed up the middle. Kaufman rips the ball loose, and Rummel walks away from this. The winners, 21 to 20, an unbelievable win for Rummel, uh, who was the underdog coming into this matchup, but they will win at least a share of the Catholic League title, and they can make it all their own uh, next week. Uh, when they when they play one more regular season game, but this sets up Rummel in position to be one of the top two seeds in Division One come playoff time over Curtis since they went, won the head to head and just a program changing type win in the Catholic League for Rummel uh, so far this season. That wraps up our covers from Joe Yenny Stadium. Andrew Doak, Eyewitness Sports. Ricardo.